Vibes Carter's name is Adidia Azim Palma. He was born uh, in 17 January 1976. He's a Jamaican dance musician. Vibes Cartel had various nicknames as a world boss or teacher. He attained folk hero status in Jamaica with provocative lyrics and mischievous public persona, and few have captive, captivated the dancehall audience or offended the sensibilities of its detractors as a consistently and th- uh, thoroughly as a cartel. Vibes Cartel first child was born on 18 April 2003. When he was 27 years old, he subsequently had two other children with the ch- child's mother. His long-time girlfriend, Tanesha Shorty Johnson. Cattle also has four more children from other relationships. On 17 May 2020, it was revealed that Cattle's Cattel 15-year-old son, was expecting a child with an 18-year-old woman, making Vibes Cartel a grandfather for the first time. Cartel singles include Romping Shop uh, 209, Dancing Hero 2010, and Summertime 2011. Having collabor- ca- collaborated with a number of hip-hop and R&B artists such as Major Lazer, Rihanna, Jay-Z, Digga D, Missy Elliott and Unknown T. He was also been credited as a as an ins- inspiration for the dancehall infused work of a number of western artists include Drake who was cited Cartel as a being one of his biggest inspiration. In 2014, Cartel was sentenced to the to im- to life imprison- imprisonment for the murder of his associated Cleve, uh, Cleve Lizard Williams. The conviction was quashed on March 14, 2024 by the Judicial Committee of the Privy Council, citing juror misconduct and declaring that the Jamaican Court of Appeal will have to decide if a re- retrial will take place. Cartel often released new music despite his imprisonment having released over 50 new songs in 2016 alone his hit song fever was certified gold in june 2020 in 1919 to 28 rise to pro, promine, pro, prominence palma started he, his career as a teenager in 1993 with his first recording Love Fat Woman which he revealed on Alvin Reid's label One Heart using the Monica Adi Banton and Homage to Bunju Banton Palma was later part of the three member group Vibes Cartel keeping the name of himself uh, himself after the group split up while still a member of the group He claims to have written near nearly 30 songs including Gal Gal Clown. He eventually became a protege of Bounty Killer. Cartel rose to prominence in 2003 after having a string of hit songs in Jamaica. The year cum- culminated in a pre-planned on stage clash with Ninja Man at an annual dancehall festival. Sting held in Cartel's hometown of Assolated Ninja Man on stage while Cartel manager initiate initially blamed Ninja Man Cartel himself quickly apologized to Ninja Man and festival organizers for the fracas 4 days after the incident the two artists appear before the press to announce a settlement of their difference and to end any animosity from the beginning through the midst of his ongoing career cartel re- released a number of albums through the uk based label green sleeves records such as up to d time more up to d time and gmt he established his 
own label, Adija, Adija Hem, noticed record with his business partner and producer Ainsley Notnice Not Morris. After splitting with Bonti Killer, led alliance in 206, uh, cartel joined the Portmore Empire, a group of dancehall DJs and singers from his his Portmore neighborhood that he signed to his newly founded Adijahim Notice Record. In 2008, Corey Todd, an American businessman, signed Vibes Cartel, Cartel to an endorsement deal for Vibes Ram. The relationship between Todd and Cartel developed into a business partnership. Together, they launched Daggerin Condom and Street Vibes Ram. Todd then purchased Jamaican's most popular dancehall nightclub, Azilam, which became the home to their weekly event called Street Vibe Thursday. Street Vibe's RAM production was stopped in 2011 because of disagreement between Cartel and Todd. However, the collaboration resumed in 2012 as a, the two Center of a difference and despite cartels ongoing in incarceration. Uh, cartel 204 UK Mobile Award nomination was withdrawn amidst controversy over homophobic content of his lyric. As described by Rolling Stone, cartel is credited with helping to erode Jamaica's long-held taboo against oral sex by signing about blow jobs in September 2011. The National Communication Network of Guyana banned Vibes Cartel from the airwaves. The first such action against a specific artist, NCN, spokesman Martin Goldsaran said his music contained options, lyrics and brought nothing positive to the entertainment industry on wednesday 21 september september after a week of internal debate he said ncn was reviewing the lyric of other musicians and called banned them as a well a public feud between cartel and former collaborator mavado arose towards the end of 206 steaming from Vibes much publicized departure from the dancehall conglomerate group the alliance. The failed result in numerous this track this track released in which each in which each artist deceased the other the and their associated associate of a popular dancehall rhymes in police. Overseen press conference in March 2007, both Mavado and Vibes Cartel publicly announced an end to hostilities and apologized to fans. However, by the summer of 2008, tensions flared with the renewal of these tracks from each artist and a, lyri a lyrical uh, clash between the two at Sting 208 left mixed views as the winner. Most of 209 saw a continuation of the public public food which dominated Jamaica media and to a certain uh, extent Jamaican culture with the two artist function Gaza, Cartel and Guli Mavado being adopted by Jamaican youth in some cases leading to street violence on 8 December to 8 Cartel and Mavado met with Jamaica Prime Minister Bruce Golding in, a, in an t attempt to end the field, the field which had by that time failed, failed mob uh, attacks in some of the inner city neighborhoods of Kingston. Then two had performed together on stage the previous night in a sign of God, good willing, goodwill at at the, at the West Kingston Jambore, a concert promoted by drug lord Christopher Dudas, Dudus, Coca after the 
truce in December 29, the two artists were scheduled to perform a unity concert in March 2, 2010 in Bab Barbados, Barbados, which later cancelled by Barbadian Bab Prime Minister David Thompson. In 2009, this song featured in featuring Jamaica DJ Spice. Romping Shop debuted on the Billboard Top 100 singles chart and Dollar Sign was in regular rotation on urban radio station in US. His, his 2010 single Clarks was one of, the, of his biggest international success remaining in the top three reggae singles and gaining the most radio plays in North America for 40 weeks. Clarks was also featured on the TV series So You Think You Can Dance Canada and on a CNN segment on a dancehall dance when his single Clarks, Clarks 2, Clarks Again and Clarks 3 were where Ya have in 2010. Its sell numbers and prices in Jamaica increased considerable <coughs> in numbers and price in Jamaica. In 2011, he released his own show line, shoe line named Adiz, Adiz as well as his own line of cake soap. A type of soap primarily used for clothes, cake soap is, uh, is less commonly utilized for skin care to treat skin condition, conditions such as Akin. However, vibes, uh, however, Carter's brand was intended for the purpose of skin lightening and, or bleaching. MTV's Vice Guide to Dancehall featured Cartel at his Weekly Dance Party Street Vibes Thursday. Vibes Cartel has also hosted his own real, uh, reality television show, Teacher Pet on CVM Jamaica Broadcast Channel, the first reality television show hosted by a dancehall artist in Jamaica. The premise of Teacher Pet found 20 women living in Kingston House uh, vying for the artist affection the show Las, Las Quiesas. Content uh, uh, excited condemnation condi 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 of its sponsor tele 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 uh, telecommunication company Lime the show came to a halt with the artist arrest on murder charges in September 2011. Charges on, 20, on 20, 29 September, September 2011, Cartel was arrested by police for cannabis possession. Jamaica Major Investigation Task Force MIT later ch charged him with the murder of Jamaican business. Barring, Barrington Barton conspiracy and illegal possession of a firearm while in prison in 2012, his book, The Voice of the Jamaica Ghetto, in, in created but not silenced. Co-written with business associate Michael Donson was published on 24 July. A jury found Cattle not guilty for the charge of murder of Barrington Banton. However, Cattle remained in Custody pending the second case, his trial for the murder of Clive Williams started. On 18 November 2013 and on 13 March 2014, he was found guilty by an 11-member jury of the murder of 27-year-old Clive Lizard Williams. The 65-day trial was said to have been the longest in Jamaica history. April 2014, Vibes uh, Cartel was sentenced to a life imprisonment. Justice Lennox Campbell said he would 
be eligible for parole after serving that five years. Since his since his inca incarceration in 2011, Vibes Cartel has been releasing news music prolifically. Jamaican prison officials have denied allowing him recording privilege and cartel has refused to state the exact source of the recordings where as the lyrical content includes ca uh, current events. In 2016, while in prison, cartel released his most international successful album, King of the Dancehall, which peaked at number two on the U.S. Billboard reggae charts. The album included the single Fever, which stopped various local music charts and became his most successful on streaming website. Cartel, he teamed, uh, Cartel retreamed with Kingston Story, produced Driscoll for the single Real Bad Girl in 2017. To his seven children have continued his musical legacy as son Jahem. Also known as Little Vibes and Akil Rahim Palmer, also known as Little Adi, have been releasing music since 2014 as duo known as PAG13, as known as Cartel Sons. In 2019, both were featured on the Fully Gaza Redeem on separate songs with Lick, Lickle Vibes teaming with Father Vibes on the track fully gaza while Likol uh, adi performs so on dollar sign which interpolates portion of the chorus from his father single of the same name on the Go uh, good life reading from 209 in january 2020 vibes cartel released a 10 track album to Tanesha, which was dedicated to his ex-girlfriend ex and mother of his three children, Tanesha Johnson. They co-produced the album with their respective record labels, short boss music and vibes cartel music. On 26 June 2020, cartel released his fifth, 15th studio album of Dons and Divas. He also appeared on Booster Rhymes 2020 album extension level ex uh, event exactly six years later on 3 on 3 April 2020 a three member panel of judges in the Jamaican Court of Appeal reaffirmed cartel convention. On 17 April 2020 the Court of Appeal reduced cartel's parole eligibility to 32 years and 6 months, citing Justice Campbell's failure to consider to consider time the singer had spent in jail while awaiting trial in 2014. Cartel will now be eligible for parole in 2046. On March, 20, uh, on March 14, 2020, 2024, Cartel's convention was quashed by the UK Privy Council due to jury misconduct, the Jamaican Court Appeal will have to decide if a retrial will take place.